But we're 22 games into the season. And here's the thing we're still imagining because Bradley Beal, he's back tonight. But Kevin Durant, he's been officially ruled out with a sprained ankle against the Golden State Warriors. So with that, we say hello to our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, the Suns, they face the Warriors today. Then they face the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow. So how are the Suns approaching this back-to-back -back for Bradley Beal and his return? Yeah, Malika, the, the, the idea of playing a back-to-back, -back, you know, after having been out three-plus weeks and having been in the lineup in and out of lineup prior to that, you know, it's something of a risky proposition. Uh, the Suns, not only do they want Bradley Beal back in the lineup, but they want him to stay in the lineup. So they'll evaluate him after tonight's game with Golden State and, and see what it might look like tomorrow against the Nets. But they're going to be cautious. And so there's uncertainty about whether uh, he makes his debut and plays back-to-back -back nights. But he is back tonight. And certainly the, the organization, Bradley Beal, you know, they've been anxious for that. They believe they've got him past these back issues, and now he can be a regular part of this lineup. So Bradley Beal back tonight, but no KD. With all of that as the backdrop, when might we see the big three in Phoenix make their debut? We're close. They're close, Malika, as close as really they've been all season. Uh, you know, Durant, I'm told, is still day-to-day -day with that ankle, but that he's not far off and so that could mean uh, the uh, Nets on Wednesday night or possibly even the Knicks on Friday night on ESPN and perhaps uh, certainly one of those two games assuming Durant is back and Beal's back in the lineup you know perhaps that's not till Friday uh, but this is an organization anxious to see yeah. these three players Devin Booker Beal Kevin Durant playing together they are close uh, and I'm told Kevin Durant is close to a return from that sprained ankle he suffered uh, against the Lakers last week in L.A. Close. That is music to Phoenix Suns fans' ears. Adrian Wojnarowski, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here on NBA Today. Okay. So Bradley Beal, he's not the only one, right, making his return to Phoenix tonight. Warriors coach Steve Kerr, you remember all this? He's back in Footprint Center for the first time since having some rather <laughs> pointed comments about the Suns crowd and the noise in the arena. Take a listen. In this building, you can't hear anything because it's like a club. It's like a South Beach club out there. What are we doing? The whole game, it's just this thumping techno club music. Can we just have a basketball game anymore? What the hell? It's just this thumping techno club music. Thumping techno club music. Oh, I had about 100 people <laughs> send me uh, the, the tweet. I think it's hilarious. I love it. I may have to respond with something of my own. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll see what that is. What do they stay, Richard? Do you got to stay petty so you don't got to get petty? A hundred percent. I look. I am a petty king. Call me. Call me Richard Petty if What's you like. <laughs> and I love it. What? I love some pettiness. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, we got our own we DJ in the DJ building. Back on the beat. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. What Steve Kerr? You wanted a basketball yes, game? You want to take basketball seriously? Come on. It's a this party. Is the NBA. This is a show. Pipe it up. There we go. I can't hear you, Steve Kerr. What? You want to run a pick and roll? Sorry, we can't hear you in the timeout. Welcome to Phoenix. Yeah. DJ Zach attacking the building. Woo. Oh, what is going my on? goodness. What, kind, oh, what type of reception? That's what I'm, Zach, no. where was this in Miami, we bro? We could get the this. chest out. What type of reception are you expecting tonight? I'm expecting that type of reception. I want whatever reception Zach just got. I know we had dancing ladies. I would have had that as the director of Ambiance. Nope. Nope. No. Nope, All right. Nope. So one big three has played 685 games and won four NBA titles together. The other is yet to share the floor beyond a couple of stints in the preseason, right? But somehow, Chanae, today, I'm not exactly sure which big three I have more questions about, the Golden State Warriors or the Suns. Well, the big three I have questions about after realizing what the Zach attack is today is this one right here. Um, <laughs> but seriously, I do have more questions about the Golden State Warriors okay. because the Suns, we haven't seen them yet. But when we did see them Thank in the preseason, their offense was spectacular. Did you say preseason? But I'm, Zach's here, and he always talks about the greatest theoretical team's potential. And that is not just the Brooklyn Nets of years ago, but it's also now the Phoenix Suns, including KD, who had experience with both. I'm saying the Warriors because, unfortunately, they're 27th in turnovers, and a lot of the issues that they thought they would reconcile and resolve mm. are still here. Steph Curry, people need to just build a statue of him right now because he is averaging 30, and he's holding them together by a thread. He is Mr. Consistency. 
The others, and I hate to say the others because they're still a big three. Clay is giving you 16 points per game. I think Wiggins just about 12. It has not materialized in the way that it typically has for the Golden State Warriors. I think they're moving away from a big three and they have to move towards a squad and stuff. Just Strength because you have to. Strength in numbers, back to the good old days. Just because you have to really get those guys like Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody involved to really be the best version of themselves, the Golden State Warriors. So here's where we are. 20 games in, whatever. I'm sorry. I, where it's are It's like we? giving Keanu Reeves. <laughs> no, no. There we go. <laughs> Please tell us. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Here's uh, where we are. No, no, here's where we are. The Phoenix Suns big three has not played one second together yep. in the regular season. And I still have more questions about the Warriors big three. Namely, who's in the big three? If we don't know yep. who's in your big three, by exactly. default, you lose this argument. One member has been ejected and suspended from like half the season. Yep. Clay has been eh. And Andrew, was Andrew Wiggins going to be in the big I don't know who's in the big three. So the answer is... Oh, oh, you can't, you can't, it. You can't the break the hype button, out bro. Of the hype button. You That's can't. how much hype Zach Lowe has. Finish us off on this one, Rich. Look, at the end of the day, I get a little nervous when I when I see somebody in those glasses. I I, I don't know what it is. Why? But I, it's just giving something. I can't quite figure it out. But I will say this. I'm right repairing now, the button. But oh, you fix the you. button. Look, the Warriors, in my opinion, there are more issues with the Warriors. I'd rather go with the known. I don't know, right? I, I know who they are, but right. I don't see it versus the yeah. unknown potential. The un <laughs> Thank you for that. The unknown potential of the Phoenix Suns. So I'm a little bit more worried about the Warriors than I am the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Because even their three best players, in my opinion, are still in the primes of their career. Yeah, and at this point, we just need to see all three of them on the floor before we can even assess versus yes. Golden State. It feels like the same issues continue, as Janae said, to rear their ugly heads, and there's been no answer for that. Can I get one more hype for the road, sir? Thank you.